Hello everybody, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my channel. I have another unboxing for you. It came today in this FedEx package. When I get this package, this only can mean this is a spooky box from the UK. And they are back a few months, so I don't know which this is. So I'm just going to go by the number that it has here. Last month, we got a black and orange box for, like, I thought it was, like, a new box, but we're back to the purple boxes, so maybe it was just a one-time thing, but we got back our spooky box called Purple Box with the bats on it, and this is their info. And this is box number 71, Kitchen Witch. Ooh, I'm excited. What could be in the Kitchen Witch? Interesting. Oh, this one doesn't have to be open. They don't put no paper or nothing in it, so it's just a little bubble. So I'm just going to have to grab something and see what we got. I got two things, I think. Okay. First thing I got, ooh, a black sachet. And it looks like this. I'm not sure. It says, Summoning Pizza, a planchette fridge magnet set. Consult the spirits. Please note that each magnet is printed on individual custom cut wood slices. As such, will contain natural details, texture, and uneven surfaces. Variance in shape, size, and printed effect will occur. These details add, add unique character to your pizza planchette set and are to be expected in all small batch handmade crafted items. On that note, I'm taking that out because that's what that says. And this is what we got. Order pizza. That's cute. And it's wooden. Heck yes, do it. And spirits say no. That is kind of cute and different. And they're wood, so let's just take one out. See what it looks like. Yes, it's got a nice, smooth, wooden surface. But very nice. That's the thickness, and then you got your little magnets. They don't stick out there, so they're and print it in there. That's a cute little first item. It's different, you can't find that anywhere else. Ah, we got our spooky treat, which is a beautiful a lollipop. So pretty. I love these lollies. The next thing in the box is Witch Mood, Blessed Bee. Feeling good in Blessed be. So it is a pink pin shaped like a heart, and it says Blessed Be in gold. You got your pink back. I don't know what it has to do with the cauldron, but it's a pretty design, I guess. Blessed Be pin. We got, oh, this is cute. Now this is adorable. Witchy recipe cards. That is cute. And that is the box. You can write the rest of the ingredients. Look how that's cute. Um, here it says recipe from servings, prep time, ingredients, and directions. It says it in, it's very light, but there you go. It says it right there. 
And there's quite a few in here. I mean, it's thick. So let's see, give you an idea. Yeah, you got a whole lot, a whole lot of them. That's like 10, 20 maybe. Really cute. I like that. Very cute. Different. Okay, my husband, I think, is pulling in. Oh, great. Like, I get this done before you start bashing through here. Oh, we got another one. Which mood? This one says feeling bad. And now I get it. This one says feeling good. Blessed be. This one says curses. And this one's black. That's cute. And this is in black. And that's, this one is black and gold too, or silver. No, black and gold. Pretty, pretty. Oh, what's in here? What's in here? This might be... Ooh. Ooh. Pentacle herb and flower drying rack. What? What? Pentacle herb and flower drying rack. I am. Wow, blown away. I don't have that. What other would you need to dry rack? see what we got here. If I can even figure this out right now. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's got to be directions on this. There's got to be some kind of directions. Um, uh, Anyway, there's got to be some kind of directions. We got the pentacle there. You guys can see they got this. It has a couple hooks here and another hook there. Um, maybe because that's tied there. Let me see. If I untie this, maybe it will give us a hint on how this works. Aha, there we go. All right, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Do I have a knot? What do we got here? Um, this way? No. This way, it's gonna be either this way, and you're gonna hang the the hook. Yeah, we're gonna probably hook it up like this. That will be your top. You put your top hook in here, and then you put all your little hooks here on the sides, and then you would hang up your dry your flowers and your herbs. That is. Cool. And it's not, there's one more item in here, I think. What is this? This box is awesome. That's all I got to say. What is this awesome thing? What is that? It's beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait to put this in my kitchen. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I gotta share. Look, this is something new tapestry you can hang in your kitchen look look at this it's big and this is realm of the kitchen which oh wow that is very nice and of course my kitty's here to say hello oh this is gonna go in my i'm looking for a home so this is gonna go into my new kitchen Wow, very, very awesome. That's what I gotta say about that. This is so, so nice. And I hang my flower and drying herbs. I'm so excited. 
Okay. So, oh, look at this. I kind of am right. I'm very excited. They send you a picture on how to put the drying rack with the pentacle together. So you put the little hooks on the bottom like I thought, some here, and then you hang that one there. And then of course it tells you information about it. Pentacle urban flower drying rack. Reminiscent of old French farmhouse kitchens. I designed this witchy herb drying rack to have the magical twist <laughs> with a stainless steel pentacle center that represents the element symbols of the earth, wind, fire, and water and spirit. Measuring 18 centimeters across for the bottom larger hoop. It's 10 centimeter pentacle tier. Has that. So you can read more about that. Um, there. So if you want, you can you can freeze it right there. And check that out. So that is that item. Awesome. And then I'm going to go over what the spooky box has. All right. So the first thing here is this awesome pentacle drying and herb rack, which is this gorgeous item right here. I just got to center it up and then put the hooks on it. Very cool. Love that a lot. And these are your awesome hooks. Then it has custom made decorative kitchen witch tea towel. Oh, it's a towel? Okay, they're saying it's a tea towel. But I'm sorry. I think you can hang that up as a little tapestry. I'm not going to use that as a towel. That is just too pretty to use as a towel. That looks like a nice thing you would want to hang in your kitchen, like on a wall. But hey, you want to use it as a tea towel? You certainly can. I'm using mine as a tapestry because that's how big it is. I don't want to dirty it up. Custom made witch mood collectible blessed bee pin and custom made which is curses pin. You have two moods, right, Baba? You have two moods? Which one are you? We are always in a happy mood. And then, custom made witchy recipe cards. They don't tell you how many they get here. So I'm going to count them up later and I'm going to put it on the bottom for you guys so you can have the amount. Um, and then, the custom made set of wooden and planchette and themed fridge magnets. And then your candy. Your. These are cute. And then your candy. So let me. What do you guys think about this month's box? I mean, this month's. Well, this box was awesome. Um, I will leave what month this box was as well. The Kitchen Witch Box number 71 was a hit for me. I'll leave the information as always on the bottom. If you like the video, please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And till next time. Say, be safe. Talk to you guys soon. Say bye. Say bye. You gonna have some marble coffee? Mm. Mm -mm. Bye guys. <laughs>